What up, people? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here. Just getting in. It is kind of late. It's already after 4.30. Uh, I had a an appointment at the Chevrolet place where I got my car from. There was some kind of recall. They had to update some software um, on it. So that took about an hour. Excuse me. And um, let's just get to it. Cause I got a lot going on right now and I got to get my ass to work. So first up, if you are friends with me on Facebook, um, and if you're not shame on you, find me on Facebook. My name is Keith Crook and it will say AKA Mr. Cheap Sense next to my name. Uh, find me, send me a friend request and make sure when you send the request that you message me and say, Hey, Mr. Cheap Sense or Hey Keith, I'm so-and-so from such-and-such your such YouTube channel or whatever because if you don't do that I'm warning you now and I don't know how people are they get butt hurt by stuff if you send me a friend request and you don't let me know who you are or if I go on your page and I don't see anything about some cologne I'm not gonna accept it you will sit there in that friend request area for as long as I leave it there until I delete it or you say, hey, I'm still here. I'm such and such from YouTube. Um, but for the most part, if you are friends with me on Facebook, then you already know what I wore. If you're following me on Instagram, then you already know also. If you're not following me, shame on you two times and you need to follow me on Instagram. So this one... I got in and, and um, this was actually in the, I think this was in the bag or envelope that um, Matt from Georgia Gent gave me. And I actually, actually didn't wear this one because I didn't know how to pronounce the name of it. Plus some of it is kind of smeared off. I think something waste on it on the label. But I looked it up today as I wore this and this is nice. Um, it's called Dip. Diptyque, D-I-P-T-Y-Q-U-E, Diptyque, O Duel, or O Duel, which is E-A-U-D-U-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and this is the EDT version, not the EDP. They do make an EDP of this, which is a lot stronger, as you all know, um, when it comes to EDP, Eau de Parfum. Um, but this... If you the if you want to know what this is all about, the two main notes in this one, because there are a few other notes in it, but the two main notes are vanilla and I think bourbon. Yeah, I think vanilla and bourbon. And they call it bourbon vanilla, I think it is. So what I got from this when I first sprayed it on, my initial thought was this smells like tobacco. And it kind of favors some other fragrance that I've worn in the past week or so. Uh, those uh, earthy, woody, tobacco-y type deals. Until I looked it up and it actually was a video on the link that I looked this up on. And the lady, I guess it was the perfumer, was talking about the fragrance. And she gave the notes and she said the two main accords are vanilla and bourbon. This is absolutely phenomenal in my opinion my personal opinion um i like fragrances like this this is perfect for cold weather um fall and winter um very nice the vanilla in this is not overpowering the bourbon is not overpowering it's blended damn near to perfection i don't hype a lot of fragrances y'all know that y'all know that about me i don't kiss ass None of that shit. Um, Andy Warhol is a banger. I love it. And I'm glad everybody's liking it so far. Um, so shout out to Kevin from Sensual Obsessions on that. Um, but he do have other fragrances such as Lime in the Sky. Uh, his Actually, his YSLY that I just got a sample of. And uh, Kevin, I need a full bottle of that one, my friend. I told you about that. YSLY is a banger also 
He has some other ones, and I am. I, I did tell you all I was going to do an update video on all the fragrances that I've gotten so far from Central Up Sessions. I'm going to let you all know what is a banger and what is just, eh, so you know what it is. But um, this one is very nice. I like this one. If I could afford to buy a full bottle of this, I would. This shit is pricey. This is one of those fragrances that is it's not in the two and three and four hundred dollar range, but it does range from like a hundred and something dollars. I think the cheapest I may have seen this on the website was like maybe 90 bucks, 80 something dollars. I'm not totally sure. I have to go back and look, but I know I seen some that was in the hundred dollar range. And then they had some decants that were like, I think, three bucks or something like that. So whatever the case may be, um, I will be looking into in the future getting at least a bigger decan of this. I need, you know, something along the lines of this size and not this size. So um, that's what I wore today. Um, Diptyque, old Old Duel or Duel, Duella, however you say it. I have to go back and look, but whatever the case may be, it's the EDT I have. Um, if you're into this and you are looking to get it, then you might possibly want to get the EDP over the EDT, but this is nice too. Um, projection, I got about two to two and a half hours of projection, and I got eight plus hours out of this. I'm still smelling this coming off of me right now. And I did not reapply at all today. I've been trying to let, let fragrances run their course to actually give you a true assessment because I know some people really value my opinion and I want to give the best opinion possible. Um, projection was like two and a half hours. Longevity, eight plus because it's still going. Off my arms... It's not where I can hold my arm here and smell it. But throughout, I was sitting at the Chevrolet place. And as I was sitting there, you know, on my phone or either watching TV, I was still getting whiffs of it. And I don't know if it's coming from off the collar of my shirt because I sprayed the back of my neck and behind my ears. So I don't spray the front of my shirt anymore. I just hit my, my two wrists. I hit the inside elbows in which they're still coming off of there. And it is on my shirt, being that I guess my shirt was rubbing my elbow. And um, I can still smell it. Now, some people say if it's not smelling like it's projecting and not the longevity aspect, then it's not working. Whatever. I'm not big on that. If I can still smell whiffs of it, to me, that means it's still going. Um, just because it's not coming off of you like that, that, you know, when you look out at the ground or the top of your car when it's hot outside and you see them waves, that's how people be wanting fragrances to radiate off, you, off of themselves. They're looking for that. Not all cases you're going to get that kind of projection. So, I mean, but it is what it is. Anyway, great fragrance. If you don't believe me, get you a sample of it. And test it out for yourself. But for the most part, that's all I can do. Now, on to the fun stuff. I haven't been getting many packages lately. Um, I think things are kind of tapering off or, you know, dying down a little bit. I do have a few people here and there who message me and say, you know, hey, uh, Mr. Cheap Sense, you know, I got some things I may want to ship to you that I don't use anymore. Or I'm not interested in and, you know, I'm not going to charge you anything. So I'm grateful for that because people know my situation. I put it out there. I don't have a lot of money being that I got this new car. That payment is killing me. My insurance is sky as high. It's just as high as my car note is. Um, but I'm not able to go out and just buy, buy, buy like I used to. Um, I have to be strategic with things if I do buy something. And, um. That's just what it is. But I have great, very wonderful subscribers uh, that do little things for me, such as my guy Sam Broom sent me this package. And I think he sent Trey, Trey Sense. I was going to say Trey Songs. Um, I bet 
Trey, I bet you wish you had Trey Song's money, though. Um, Trey Sense. I think he sent him one, too. And I pretty much know what it is, but I'm going to go ahead and dive into this. Thank you again, Sam. Um, shout out to everybody that I've conversated with uh, personally within the past month or so. Um, we off and on have been having some damn good conversations. Um, it's not always about fragrances. It's sometimes about life stuff, which is cool. And um, I've built some great friendships and bonds over the past uh, year. Y'all don't know how much this fragrance journey has really uh, helped and changed me, molded me. Uh, I'm not the best reviewer in the world. Uh, only thing I know how to do is keep it real with you all. Keep it 100, as people say. Tell the truth. I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't kiss ass. None of that. So um, whatever is working for me right now, people are loving it. Um, they don't want me to change, even though I'm still debating that name change. Um, I like my name, but I'm not, I'm not even going to go back down that road. Just know that it's still in the back of my mind. But as of right now, I'm content with where I'm at, um, which is cool with me. So what we have here is this is from Byredo. Parfums. This is Accord Oud Eau de Parfum. And let me try and get this on. That's it. Now let me give you my... Because the last time I got some samples in, in decants, somebody commented and said they wish they, that I could have gave given them my first impression. And I apologize for that. So I'm going to do it this time. I wonder what the notes are on this. Because for some reason, I'm smelling rose. Hmm. I think I was asking about a rose fragrance. And if, this, if it actually does have rose in it i know it has oud in it but if that is actually oud or some kind of rose i like this this is definitely uh different than what i'm used to and it is potent but the oud in this doesn't smell like the oud one i wore a few days ago or last week because that was rancid i didn't like that one at all but this is uh, from the house of Byredo Parfums. This is a Cord Oud Eau de Parfum. Uh, let's see. We have Robert Graham. This is Fortitude. Oh, wow. That's a nice bottle that he has there. It has looked like a ram head or something, a goat. Some I guess it's a ram or something. That's nice. I like that. So let's give this one a spray. And I'm going to just spray it right here on the card. Well, I got it on my hand. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Wow. It says top note of tobacco absolute with secondary notes of patchouli and tonka bean. That's the sweetness I'm getting. That tonka bean. Huh. I wonder how much that costs. I, may look, I might have to look into this one because I like this one a lot. That tonka bean, you get that off the rip. And um, that's nice. I do pick up the tobacco. Wow, that's nice. I like that. That kind of surprised me. All 
All right, so that is Robert Graham's Fortitude. Huh. We have another Robert Graham. This is Valor. And this bottle is the same as the last one. The juice color is different. And this one looks like it has a bulldog on the top of it. So, yeah, this is a squirt. I'm going to just spray it on skin this time. The hell with it. This one's not spraying too good. This one smells good. It's not as good as the first one. Does have some sweetness. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, let's see. It's fresh. Uh, top notes of clary sage, coffee, amber wood. Uh, what is that? Coffee Santos and amber wood. Okay. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It's it's not it's not uh eye popping like the first one was for me. But it's nice. Uh Robert Graham, I'm gonna have to look into him. I don't know how how expensive his fragrances are, but that's nice. Uh this one is Patchouli Nosy B. Paris Monte Carlo. I never heard of this one. But. Let's just see. Now this is actual cardboard. So I'm going to have to. That's not bad. It's just. I don't think I would buy that one if I smelled it. It's not a bad smell. It doesn't stink. It's just not like the first two. It doesn't stand out. You definitely can pick up the patchouli. Yeah, that's not one of my favorites. Uh, Oud Imperial by the same company. Spray this on here. I'm a little nervous when it comes to Oud. Yeah, that's not me. That is strong. Yeah, I don't like that one. Let's see, it is precious woody notes like uh, Cidre Atlas, Vetiver from Java, Sandalwood. Um, let's see, Sandalwood to emphasize the natural woody and leather characteristic of this beautiful formulation. That's not my style. I don't like that one. I know there's probably somebody out there who would like that one. I'm just not him. Uh, that's actually the same one. Food Imperial. And let's see. Boys do the Oud. I guess that's the name of it. From the same company. So let's give this one a shot. I like that that juice color. It's ambery, like beer. That's me. Yes. That's not bad. It's not as good as the first one. I don't even think it's good as the second one. I think this will probably fall in the third place with me. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. 
It has the power to give written it the to give richness to compositions and for this reason it is blended with other notes in order to create a more robust versatile perfume um oriental spicy characteristics uh let's see it says oud is one of the most precious natural woody essential oils available today its composition evokes different facets, woody, animalic, uh, or animality, sensuality, and sophistication. Where are the damn notes? Uh, it doesn't really give me any notes. But that's not bad for oud fragrance. That does not smell anything like the other oud when I just smelled uh, that I don't like, but this is nice. And the last one is Ombre Grease, and it's from the same company. And there is a glare coming off of this because it's like a foil um, outer shell to this. So I apologize for that. Uh, I would wear this one, but if I smell this in a store, like if I was shopping for a cologne and I smelled this one, I probably would pass. It's not, no. Um, I don't see notes. So, it's not bad, but it's not my style. Ombre grease. All right, so that is all that was in Sam Broom's package. Let's see what do we have next? Mm. Let's open this one first. So we have a package from Canada. And this is from Victor Wong. And I think I know what where this came from. I've talked to this um, fellow once before. And he did say he was going to send me something. Ah. Okay, first off, before I rip this. So most people will probably know when they see this. Uh, this is from Zoologist. And I have been seeing people talk about these fragrances. Uh, they are a little bit, but I'm, I'm just repeating what I heard. They are a little bit off the chart for some people. Um, this is not going to be for everybody. This is not going to be for the faint of heart. Uh, if you're not into it. Uh, I suggest you not even try it, but I was interested and there is a little note it says, Dear Keith, thank you for your interest in zoologists. Best regards, Victor Zoologist. And this is the note. And I appreciate this um, very much, Victor. I really do. I hope you see this. If you don't see it, um, I thank you in regards and hopefully somebody will relay the message to you. Um, I've heard a few, some people are ranting and raving only about certain fragrances from this house, um, like T-Rex, and I've heard of a, like two or three others, but um, I'm not going to go through all of these right now. I'm just going to go through and see what's in it. Uh, there are quite a few samples here. Let's see, we have... Tyrannosaurus Rex, in which I've heard somebody mention this one. We have uh, Squid. We have Rhinoceros. We have Panda. Panda. And I think I just butchered dabbing. Anytime I used to dab, try to dab, my kids used to be like, Daddy, please. 
<laughs> uh, this one is Nightingale. And all of these, I just noticed, are Eau de Parfum Concentration. We have Moth. I've seen this one. Most of these I see there on Facebook or uh, somebody may be talking about them on YouTube. I don't really see many reviewers talk about these except for maybe one or two. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Maka Q. I guess that's the name of it. M-A-C-A-Q-U-E. Got my cousin on the front. A little monkey. Uh, Hyrax. Um, is this another hummingbird? Didn't I just do one of these? No, that was Nightingale. This is Hummingbird. Zuala just has a lot of fragrances. I don't know what they run for a full bottle presentation, but I'm more than happy with what he sent me in these samples. That's very generous. Uh, we have Elephant. We have... I know this video is going to be kind of long, but uh, Dragonfly, Dodo, and all of these have something inside of them, like, you know, some little thing, and it says something about, I guess, talking about the fragrance a little bit. All of them have that on the inside. Uh, this one is, uh, I guess, civet, and it has something inside of it also. We have uh, chameleon. I think this is another one I've seen somebody mention. We have camel, and. It has a little, little information on the inside. We also have last two, B. And last but not least, we have Beaver. No pun intended, ladies. Whatever the hell I sprayed on my hand smells good as hell. And I'm not even going to go into uh, first impressions on this one. I'm just going to wear these um, and give them when I wear them. And last package here. I'm running up on 30 minutes now. And I know you all are probably tuning out. But I think videos like this are pretty cool. And keeps people's attention. Especially when you're getting a lot of new stuff. And not talking about one specific fragrance. Which is cool. So, no way. No freaking way. Alright, this last package is from... Okay, 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 okay. This is from... Um, I can't remember the guy's name right, right off top. Uh, I think it's Hanny... Hanny Hefez, is that his, that his name? I know it's from Alexandria. Um, I'm going to have to shout him out again. I, I think that's his name. Um, I reached out to him about some fragrances from Alexandria, and he definitely uh, hooked me up with a little something, something. So this is one of those kind of lipstick atomizers. You twist it, pops up. I don't know what's in this. But, let's see, boardroom, and I'm not, I can't remember what boardroom is supposed to be a clone of, let's see, we talked about this 
one day, I can't remember what it was that boardroom is supposed to be a clone of. It's nice though. I like that. That's very nice. Wow. Okay. So we have two fragrances. Although I just got one the other day from a subscriber. He actually bought one and <laughs> shipped it to me free of charge. And I appreciate it. Um, but these two came directly from the man himself. From Alexandria. Damn, that's nice. What is boardroom is supposed to be a copy or a clone of something? I can't pick up on it right now. But we got two. And these are the 30 mLs. I already know because it says it here. Plus, I already got one. So let's. Alright, that's not good. I just ripped the damn thing off. We have uh, Hasifaz, Hasivaz, however you say it. Let's see what we got here. That's not too bad. Um, it smells pretty good. It's not, uh, if I smelled this in a store, like if I was actually in an Alexandria store and I don't even know if the stores exist, like I'm that far out of touch with fragrances and stuff. If I smelled that one, I probably would pass on it. It's light. And it's really, I mean, it's, it'll work for an office setting just for the simple fact that it's light. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be a rendition of. Uh, woody, citrus, and fruity. I do get the citrus... That fruity part, I don't really get. And maybe I have to let this dry down more. I don't get really the fruitiness off top. I'm going to let that sit while I get to this other one and see what happens. Uh, this one is Italian Caramel. i seen this on a web page. And I was interested because I like sweet fragrances. I like stuff like this. Oh, yeah. Now, that's right up my alley. That's me all day right there. That one is just, the other one is just so light. You definitely pick up caramel in this one. It says sweet almond and milky. I'm not really picking up almond right now. I'm picking up more caramel than anything. That's nice. This other one is so light. It, it's kind of reminding me of something else I have. I just can't pick up what it is. Or something I've smelled before. Anyway. I like this uh, Italian caramel. That's nice. I'm going to have to give this other one um, some time. Uh, it's not a bad fragrance. I'm not going to sit here and trash it. I'm not going to do that because it actually does smell pretty good. It's just how I was blown away by uh, the Italian caramel when I first smelled it. And the first two sample card, carded samples, the uh, Valor and Fortitude, these two are nice. You didn't get that same reaction from me with 
Hasifod or Hasifed, what is it? Hasivaz. You didn't get that impression from me when I first smelled it. it. I just smelled it and it was like, oh, okay, well. But it's so light. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't know how that one's going to perform. But anyway, um, 35 minutes in. I know that's a little long for a video. Hopefully you all understand being that I got so many carded samples and, you know, stuff. Shout out to um, Alexandria Fragrances. Um, I think his name is Hanny. I want to say Hanny. I think that's his name. If it's not, I'll fix it later um, in another review. But uh, shout out to Alexandria Fragrances. Shout out to... Uh, what the hell? Oh. To uh, Sam Broom for his card and samples. And shout out to Victor Wong over at Zoologist for all of these carded samples. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all three. I greatly appreciate it. I have some stuff in the collection that is uh, very different from the norm, what I usually have or pick up. I appreciate it. I am going to be testing these out pretty soon. I have some other fragrances I want to get through first, but um, there are a lot of carded samples here that's going to Wow. I mean, if I counted all the carded samples, it'd probably be like maybe 20 max, maybe 25. I'm not sure um, if that, but for the most part, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And here is, I'm going to just use the, these two to smelling great. And I am out of here. Peace.